Hello everyone, in this video I want to show you how you can uh, use HyperMesh attachments in order to deal with Abacus couplings. So, as a starter, let me uh, briefly show the content of this model. Uh, it has several, on, so it has a solid mesh that you can see. It has three couplings, um, so the couplings are now thin as constraints in HyperMesh. Um, there's a boundary condition in it, and there's also a load which is available. Um, let me check if this one, okay. And let me um, cut it on the model loads. I want the directional force and I want to put loads as a vector just to show you the loads are shown there. So this is how the model is done and here you see it's done in a purely uh, FE style uh, all the way so we had a point we created by end I could create them again but I could just go to create a constraint from the model browser asking to create a coupling with a reference entity asking to create a surface node and selecting the nodes but let me show uh, why and how you should use the attachments for this. So first, let me split my window into two. Let me go to components, select this component, control C. And let me go to the second window, which is also a hyper mesh one and control V. Uh, okay, let me do the same here with the points. I want my three points. Okay, I have more than three points, so let me select my three fixation points here. Oh, sorry, not this one. Three, so I have three points, control C. And and there's already already one of them here, so I should have pasted just one, control V. Escape. So now this is my new main configuration. And so how, I can, how can I use attachment for this? Let me go to connectors, attachment. The first thing is to go for an attachment control. So I will create a new one. It will be a bolt. Uh, and I will use a constraint, uh, detect hole with solid hole nodes. I will ask for interior nodes. And here's the diameter. I have to extend it a little bit because my part is larger. Uh, you could measure the distance. And this is for the settings. Now, just to change of option, I will here move from manual to automatic. And select. I can select either components or parts. So here, let me select components. By default, it will be parts. And here you have a preview of your attachment. So you can just basically realize it. So, okay, it is done, but not a pr proper location. So how to do? Basically, you can just go to the move tool, select your attachment and go to use the snap points. Sorry, need to zoom a little bit here to go to this snap point. Same for the other ones. And same for the third one. You see that the connectors of the attachment have turned to blue, uh, which means they are still realized, but they have been modified. So I need to go to attachments again. Right click, realize, and they will be realized with uh, the new position. Now, why to use the attachment? It's uh, for any remeshing scenario. So now let's say that I want to remove my elements here and I want to do, I could have done a tetra remesh, but I will go further. I will create a thin solid mesh, this one, these two parts. Um, yeah, 7.5, five layers. Let me go to mesh. So 
here you see that I have my three, uh, my new, new mesh. Uh, let me go to my attachments again. And I will select, right click, unrealize, and right click, realize. And then my attachments are done again, except for one. Uh, so let me see what goes wrong here. So the reason why this one failed is because if we look, let me go to topology, split, you see that in fact I have two separate solids. So hypermesh is detecting, it's not detecting as a single hole, but it's two half holes, so it's not detected as a whole. So one quick way to solve it is, is select all my elements, it, uh, then I will go to 3D, Boolean, uh, combine my solids together. Was it? It will take a couple of seconds. Now my, that my solid is combined, I can go again to examesh. This will take a couple of seconds. Uh, escape, and now I can go again to my attachment. Right click, realize, and you see now that I have my scoopling done again. Uh, by using the attachment, I was able uh, just to create it once, and then anytime I need to remesh, anytime I need to change the mesh, I can uh, leverage on the existing attachment in order to uh, recreate uh, the spider with uh, and make sure that there is no free node on my uh, model. As a last remark, let me come back to my original model, the one which is pure FEMesh no attachment entity. One uh, final last thing about attachment is that even if you're doing with an orphan mesh, you can uh, use this small icon here, the FE absorb, so that you want 3G spiders and hit on play, and you will get the, automat the attachment automatically absorbed, and then you can start playing with it. So hope this video helps you. Thanks for reviewing it.